G'day guys, it's Jar here, and today we are playing Tales from the Borderland. This looks like a really cool game, really cool game I saw on Steam. So we're just gonna play. I don't really know much about it. I don't know if there's anything before, during, or after this, like game-wise, but it looks cool, and we're gonna play it. So that's it. <laughs> um. Maximize your tales from the borderline experience. Uh, no thank you. Oh, the art style looks damn good. I love the art style. Now, I will say this right now. Oh, sorry. I will say this right now, in this moment of time, is that I have seen this game in play before um i've seen jack play it obviously um because he's the best in the world and if i ever got to meet him i would tell him and we should to keep leaving anyway aside from that so no i do not remember a single thing from this game at all so don't worry about it i just i remember these two don't remember the names what was that like I said, it has been a long time um, since I've seen it, but yeah, trust me, I don't remember any of it, so no spoilers, nothing. Let's start with episode one. Zero sum. Plus, I personally think it's a whole new experience when you actually physically play the game yourself, so... This game is a serious adaptation to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Yes! I love those types of games! Back again to hear another story of immense fortune and unthinkable yes. peril. Well, yes. I have some time. The borderlands Yay. of Pandora were told to contain mysterious alien treasure troves filled with advanced technology and incredible power. Vaults, the people called them. And to seek one out was to earn you the title of Vault Hunter. It looks like I am. It looks like Groot on the left. You could say Handsome Jack was one such explorer, though his methods could be seen as uh, somewhat unsporting. <laughs> he ran the corporation Hyperia and died trying to claim Pandora as his own. History's okay, attention that's good is to fickle, know. my friends. It will remember those pirates like Handsome Jack. But forget the adventurers who risk it all for less uh, obvious rewards. Stories, legends, those are much better at getting at the real spirit of things. Stories remember Ooh. both sides of the tale. That's true. I do like that. Am I supposed to... Hello? No, I'm sorry, I'm acting, sorry. Well, this is a lovely outside. I like how it's like very comic book-esque come to life. Hello? You're very techno. You have two different eye colors. I mean, that's cool and all, but hmm, one's glowing and one's not. I think you're from here. Fiona, you don't really. Come on, we can work this out. Fiona, <laughs> what, is there some sort of radiation leak? I don't know about. <laughs> Rise. Tommy man, you. Rise, Ryle? Rye? Oh, I look smashing. Huh, stuck in duct tape. Hello, just break out of it. Oh. Where um, exactly are, where are we, we going? going? I ask the questions. Okay, then uh, do you mind asking yourself where you're taking me? Oh, they don't seem very tight. Oh, what the hell? 
Tell me about the Gordis Project. <laughs> is that what this is about? <laughs> Look, Gordis is Gordis bad Project. business. If you want a real hot investment, I am on the ground floor of some property on E. Okay, 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 okay. Don't be a smartass. Huh? <laughs> I'm not a patient person. So just start Noted. talking. Just where do you start when you're getting dragged through the desert and, uh... From the beginning. Right. That works. I mean, beginning is always quite helpful, right? Just saying. Whoa. It's like some Star Wars. I love it. I guess it all started with a promotion. See, I'd spent my entire career up at Hyperion, so I suppose that makes me one of the bad guys in this story. And Handsome Jack, he was the you baddest guy of them all. This long. It must feel good I to find to be rabbit, just you know? like him. Take it. It's yours, right? <laughs> I mean, you always said that. <laughs> Everyone did. I gotta be honest, I always thought it was sort of cheesy, but, uh, but hey, here Which we are. Which resulted in a company overflowing with assholes. <laughs> Animals. When Handsome Jack died, it somehow got even worse. It took some time to fit in. But a few stabs and select backs, a new haircut, and the help of a couple friends, I was on my way to get the promotion that was going to change my life. Scratch that. Our lives for the better. I was a little distracted. It was a big day for us. Luckily, Vaughn was concentrating on the important things. What's the first thing you're gonna buy? I know what Henderson's making. I do his payroll. Nice. Vaughn, your best you're getting friend. A fraction of what he earns. You'll be rolling in it. And I figure I could get lunch. Seems like a good place to start. Well, then we're starting sure. with three of whatever's most expensive. Sure. And wine pairings. For lunch? We're gonna get twisted, bro. What's a white pair? I'm not up five hundred dollars in food and alcohol this afternoon. Then we are doing it wrong. We're meeting with a vet afterward to celebrate. She booked us a table. Yep, sounds a good. Vet? Look, we had to do a lot oh, of awful stuff to friend? get you to this point. Do I regret some of it? Sure, I do. Every night it haunts my dreams, but that doesn't matter now, cause you made it. You deserve this, man. And don't ever think you don't. And don't ever think about the Iridium Mine deal we put together. Hey. hey. We made it, okay? We're in this together. Always count your partners up, in. We're all moving up. You can be certain of that. Friendship is key. I appreciate that, Reese. You know, people around here Probably have short memories when it comes to that stuff. You, I me, love the Yvette, we're gonna run this place. Yes, we Hell are. Hell yeah. Alright, man. Let's get that Hyperion face on. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> um... Just blank stare. Hmm. No, we need some condescending. It's a little too friendly right now. Okay, tell you what. Tilt your head back. Uh, like if you ask me if there's anything up your nose. How's that? There you go. You don't respect me at all. Perfect. Good. Mr. Henderson? Have a seat, Reese. I'll just be a second. No, I wasn't talking to you. It's Crunk from Ember's Groove. Yes, I'm talking I was to being you Groove. Now. Yeah, but I don't want it in red. I want it in black. Because black is better. Look, don't concern yourself with why. Okay, Jerry. Concern with yourself why? with how. And just send the concern car over when it's ready. How. Company car. Didn't even have to ask. Uh, Vasquez, no hype. You look surprised Here to see me. Send. If I'm reading the situation right, and I usually am, you're not too happy about it either. This all came together quick. So, Science you might not have been it. in the loop, but it's for the better. At least for me. I will stay quiet. You're going to be reporting to me now, Reese. And I want you to know the promotion that you worked so hard to get. That's still coming to you. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> Cause I... But this is about more than that, Reese. It's about your future in this company. Mm. Look, you want to know the reason why I'm in that chair and you're not? 
For the exact same reason why North is North. Why the handsome guy always gets the girl. And why every spaceship in the universe is shaped like a cock. It's destiny race. And men, real men, men like me, make their own. And you could hold a grudge if you like. No harm, no foul. Your thoughts are your own. That's but bad so things pretty. can happen when you swim against fate. Sometimes men find themselves standing in the way of other men's destiny. You don't want to be that man. Wow. I could not have timed that better. That really helps dramatically make my point. Which is... Is this? that... This the old manager? It's going to take you out of the way of other people's destiny. And put you on your own path. And that, my friend, is why I am promoting you to... Jerry, why isn't my new car digistructing in my office yet? Vasquez, it's August. Oh, August. Uh, yeah, cool, listen. Uh, I actually have somebody here with me, so... Uh... Are you buying this vault key, or what? Because I... How did this happen so quick? I thought I'd have more time. Of course I'm still interested. I... Yes, I'm near a computer. Hmm, interesting. It's just that's a lot of money to get together on short notice. I mean, I'm not trying to be obstinate, but I need time. Oh, okay. Where's your computer? Uh. Yeah, 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 no, but... Look... Vasquez. Do you want the money or not? Because I'm Vasquez. Huh? <laughs> Three years sucking up to the guy. It's not. No, it won't Out be a big window. deal for me to get. No, I want to look at Pandora. Oof. Why do the like scumbags always yes. have the best view? Yeah, that's what we have. Anything had else? Yeah, that's everything. It's a working day, August, and I just got this promotion. That's literally all I can hit. Can I keep staring at him and he'll stop? Are you going? Can I say Why something? Why are you turning this into a whole thing right now? Can I touch his computer? Anything? There's nothing. Uh. Yeah, you said you're calling back. Hurry up. Yeah, 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 no, but... Question... Do you want the money or not? Because I... I can keep looking at it, but I can't question. It's not. No, it won't be a big deal for me to get... What can I question? Look at last Yes. Kids. Yeah, okay, I'm just keep looking at him. This game reminded me so much. Not the game, sorry. The person. It's this one, Vasquez, reminds me so place. much of the guy who voices Emperor's New Groove's um, Crunk. That's what it reminds me of a lot. I pretty sure it's him. Yeah, hi. Look, look, look. Are you going... Okay. I just want to see something. Um, that's what I want to do. Put on subtitles for all you lovelies. Why are you turning this into a whole thing right now? Come on. Not yet. Says I can question, but what? Look, I'll have to show you that. I uh. 
Okay, we're going to end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, let me know in the comments below. And I don't know how long these episodes are going to be. But this one's just kind of a little snippet, a little throw of an introduction for you guys. So, Jack says, in the next video, sarcasm out this brain for a race. Cast it hug. Bye-bye. See ya. Hey, Elsma. Elsma. Can I make some spinach puffs? Spinach puffs. I can't do his voice. I apologize. That was.